Hey guys. Welcome back to my channel and another video. Today's video I have a special guest once again. To give you a bit of context, his name is Daniel. Mm -hmm. Your name is Daniel. Yep. He's my friend, mm -hmm. not my dad. <laughs> I know. In one of my videos, I was like, Dan, da 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 da, and then everyone's like, Oh my God, is that your dad? <laughs> I know I look a little bit older, but I mean, we're the, we're the same age, okay? I'm not her dad, just to clarify. <laughs> He's my friend Dan or yeah. Daniel, I yeah. should say. I'm sorry for my pron pronunciation. It's probably me. <laughs> Dad. He is not my father. Moving on. So Dan recently went vegan. Yeah. Or started, I, I guess, the started the journey of veganism, mm -hmm. if you will, as I like to call it. Mm -hmm. And some people have asked us like how he's doing and like you know asked for like an update Which is really cool. Thanks guys. Yeah. Like I appreciate that. That's like <laughs> awesome So we thought we'd kind of talk about some of the things that you know that he's experienced some of the changes and some mm -hmm. of the even struggles or whatnot yeah. So yeah, why don't you kind of start with okay. why? I, I first became like vegetarian like in June and like the main thing June of 2015 2015 right. yeah, and so basically my main reason for that is because like you know I was starting to really educate myself and like with Rose and a couple of, of my other friends were like sending me videos of kind of like factory farming and all that kind of stuff and actually just one day it was kind of crazy just one day I was, I was at Subway and I was eating this sub that had like meat in it and stuff and I was just like I don't want to eat this anymore like I actually feel a bit sick doing this from that moment on yeah. cold turkey just cut meat out of my life but and you were still eating fish at the moment uh, no actually okay I did, I thought oh, you did oh no I did eat fish for a little bit yeah I yeah. still ate fish for a little bit which is what I did as well yeah like when I first stopped eating meat mm -hmm. I stopped eating meat but then I kept eating mm -hmm. fish it was like yeah it was kind of like a slow transition <clears> so I yeah. I was still eating fish, I was still eating dairy products, and then I moved to London, I moved in with Rose, um, who cooks a lot of, obviously, vegan, always cooks vegan food and stuff. <laughs> so, I kind of was already eating vegan, like, when I, yeah, when I got here. Yeah, for the here. most part. Yeah. yeah. And then, there was this uh, promotion, that actually, I found out about it when we went to VegFest um, in London, and it was basically like, go vegan, just try going vegan for the month of January. Veganuary? Veganuary, yeah. yeah. And I thought to myself, I was like, you know what, I might as well just give this a try. Like, I've been, I, I shocked myself that I even became vegetarian, but I, I felt already better for it, and I was yeah. like, I should try becoming vegan. Like, why not? Like, Rose does it. One of our other flatmates does it. So I was just kind of like, oh, you know what? I'm just gonna give it a go and just do it. So I started in January, and it actually was easier than I thought it would yeah. be. I thought it would be a lot more difficult. Of course, there were some challenges that I faced, but overall, it was a fairly smooth transition. I think it helped that you live with me, so yeah. like we could cook food together and stuff. But I think the biggest thing for me about being vegan is you have to, like, you do have to prepare a little bit. Yeah. In a sense, like you have to think ahead. Exactly. Kind of. yeah. yeah. So like, if I'm cooking, cooking dinner or something what I'd do is I'd make like a big dinner do like meal prep like a lot of roses videos it really helps you to stay keep on track and another thing I, I originally found challenging but I've kind of overcome that now is in, initially I was like if I wanted to grab a quick snack and stuff I would find it difficult I'd mm -hmm. be like oh where do I go what do I yeah. do and I go to places like Costa, Pret a Manger, and there's like not very many options, and yeah. I get really frustrated. <clears throat> um, but then you start to realize like where you can go and where there's good vegan options. And like most stuff, you realize that you can make it vegan. So like for example, I really like burritos, and I thought, oh, I'm not gonna really be able to eat these burritos, but it's so easy. You just get it without sour cream and cheese, and like they're still amazing. So yeah. it's just making those little changes. Um, I think that was the, the biggest thing. And to be honest, like since I've become vegan, I feel so good. <laughs> I do. Like I feel healthy. You know what I what? I was supposed to ask you a question. Oh yeah, but shit. You're totally fine on your own. Oh uh, no, no. Cause see, I, t I originally told Rose, I was like, Daniel like likes to ramble. So I do. Yeah. I always make fun of him. You want to continue? And actually, I'm turning a little. You're doing a very good job right now. You can see I'm turning a little bit red right now. So <laughs> actually, I know. Actually, when we were starting this video, I was just like, we were talking about how we we're gonna do this, and I was like, I'm kind of nervous because I've been in the videos before, but never about me. <laughs> And I was just like, I feel kind of awkward, so if you just well, ask me questions... You're doing very good. What was the last thing you said? I was just saying about how when I became vegan, I started feeling really good. Yes, right. And then one of the biggest changes that I noticed is that actually I've started losing like a ton of weight. Yeah, I, let's talk about that. Yeah, so this is, this is another motivation that kept me going is that I, I lost like... I, I How wanna, much did you lose? I, it's hard to say because I didn't weigh myself yeah. right in January, but I think I've probably lost over 20 pounds. No! Yeah. Since January? Uh -huh. Yeah, it's just That's been crazy. Weight. The weight's just like shut it off. To be fair, I've been going to the gym and everything yeah. else. The thing is like we've both been going to the gym like similar and mm -hmm. like I haven't really lost any fucking weight. <laughs> No, but like, but like my diet has been kind of steady for a while, mm -hmm. so obviously his change in diet is like yeah. gonna influence, you know, mm -hmm. your body. Well, and it's it's just the little things. Like I used to after work or stuff, <clears> if I was having a stressful day, I'd always like going like get a chocolate bar. And I was really bad for like going to the gym yeah. and then getting a chocolate bar like right after I worked out. But now it's like I mean, <laughs> I know it's so bad. <laughs> But now I'm like, because, I mean, I can still eat chocolate. Obviously, vegan. Yeah. there's vegan chocolate and stuff out there. But I kind of, it's just naturally, I just don't yeah. do not do that anymore. Okay, so let's talk about like some of the struggles, I guess. Like, mm -hmm. or like challenges. Like things that you found slightly difficult. But I okay. think you already 
talked about I it. I kind of did, yeah. But I think, <laughs> I think the biggest thing for me is like, if I, if I, the, the biggest thing is like, you have to prepare. Think ahead about what you're gonna eat. And I think the biggest challenge for me is just being, being vegetarian and, and eating meat before, I never used to look at labels and what was in food. Mm -hmm. So there's been a couple times over the past six, it's been almost six months, mm -hmm. there's been a couple times where I went to a grocery store, quickly grabbed like a, a bag of crisps, chips, mm -hmm. whatever you want to call it, and just started eating it. So I was like, oh, this is yeah. fine. And then I looked at the package and I was like, oh my God, there's there's yeah. milk in this. But I, I do that too, even now sometimes. Yeah. For example, we bought like pasta one time. Yeah. It was like a lasagna or something, just a regular store-bought lasagna. Mm -hmm. And later on, we realized there was egg in it. Yeah. Like we don't, sometimes some of those things, like they just happen and yeah. you just kind of have to brush it off and move on exactly I think it's like again you have to remember this is all about a journey yeah and I think by even just making that conscious decision you're like you know I don't want to be consuming animal products yeah and just by doing that you are gonna sometimes have slip-ups and yeah. I think you shouldn't beat yourself up about it I think that's one of the important things going forward just remember for next time so now I know yeah. which brands of chips to avoid or you know certain snacks yeah. if, I, if I have a slip-up and another big challenge was again I kind of mentioned it earlier but like if you want to grab something really quick and to go like mm -hmm. and you're at work you want to run and grab something a lot of you do you have to be really careful but to be fair like I don't think it's that bad in London to be honest yeah, London's in not London too it's bad. very very easy mm -hmm. in my opinion yeah there's always gonna be something mm -hmm. so Although to be fair, some of the vegan options in some places are not very good. Yeah, like, that's true. Like we get this, there's this like meal deal on Mondays and it's like <laughs> a pound for a sandwich and like chips and whatever. And some of the sandwiches, like the one at Boots is okay, like- Okay, to be fair though, none of those sandwiches look good. That's true. Like vegan or not vegan, none mm -hmm. of them look tasty at all. Mm, it's very so, true. So- What else was I gonna say I mean, as a challenge? I challenge wise, like maybe traveling sometimes. Oh yeah, traveling can be difficult. Because it's like you get kind of used to wherever you live, you kind of get an idea of where's mm. vegan or whatever. But when you travel, it can be a little bit stressful sometimes, yeah. depending on where you go. Well, like we went to Lyon. And <clears throat> yeah, we went to France, and mm -hmm. it's actually it wasn't as bad as I thought it would be. Mm -hmm. But there were definitely times when we like when we actually went into a restaurant and mm -hmm. like realized there was like nothing we could eat. Yeah, so that's difficult. But you just get used to it. Yeah, I, I think, think it's getting better, a lot mm -hmm. better as we progress. And I really think like I, I can see why they did the Veganuary month because doing it for a month, I think in the beginning you think, oh my god, it's this monumental mm -hmm. task. It's so yeah. difficult. And actually, one thing you do realize is how much products out there do have milk and yeah. dairy and cheese. It's, it's crazy. Like, I, I never really stopped and took time to, to think about it. But, like, all the sandwiches that are vegetarian, everything has cheese. Yeah. Or milk. And I'm just Everything like, has mm -hmm. cheese. Did you notice, like, a change in energy or, like, anything like that? Um, I think... I, I don't know. I never really... With, with, with Energy-wise, no? Not really with energy. Like, I don't know if I'm... But I'm also kind of lazy, so... I don't know if there's, like... The thing is, I... That's one of the first things I noticed mm -hmm. when I gave up most animal products mm -hmm. was I noticed a huge amount of energy and, yeah. like, I didn't feel sleepy. I was in university at the time mm -hmm. and every single day I would wake up and I had a hard time getting up. I had to have, like, a giant coffee every single mm -hmm. morning. Otherwise, I couldn't function. Like, I actually could not function. Yeah. But when I first gave up animal products, for the most part, I like instantly felt like mm -hmm. awake all the time like it was crazy that I actually gave up coffee for like I didn't actually give up coffee but I just like stopped drinking coffee yeah. regularly because I was like I don't actually need coffee to wake me up because I was like so awake all the time yeah what I've noticed and it's, and it's hard to describe but like you just feel kind of cleaner if that makes yeah, sense yeah. like you know when you eat a lot of meat and stuff and cheese and dairy it's so heavy in your stomach yeah. And you actually feel I like because it all gets flushed out when yeah. you eat fiber, lots of fiber just flushes. It like cleans everything out, yeah. and then like yeah. you just <laughs> you, you do a very good job in the bathroom. Yeah. <laughs> the reason I started veg like this journey, becoming vegetarian, becoming vegan, first was for the ethical reasons. Secondly, which I didn't even realize until watching some of these documentaries, is the environmental impact mm -hmm. that um, animal animal products and yeah. animal agriculture causes. But another thing that's keeping me going as well is the fact that I've lost weight, I feel yeah. better, like I feel cleaner, I don't get that lethargic feeling after I eat a lot of food. And also, one of my favorite things about being vegan is I eat so much food now, yeah. as much as I want, and I just keep eating and eating and eating, and like I just feel- And you're still losing weight. And I'm still losing weight, I still feel great. I yeah. just, I, I'm having a really good, good so far good. a good time, yeah. so. I mean, I think if you do it for like the right reasons, mm -hmm. which is I think like, you know, obviously animals and stuff like that, mm -hmm. like it's just, it makes it kind of easier to keep going. Like even yeah. if, you know what I mean? It's mm -hmm. like, yeah, the health thing and like feeling better, that's great. Yeah. But like if you, if there was no ethical connection there, then I think, I think it'd be a lot easier for you to just be like, well, I'm going to have a piece of chocolate. Exactly. I'm going to have this. So 
it's it's like a big package deal. Exactly. It's kind of like, like call it. it's just like a positive. The thing yeah. is, it's just a positive package. <clears throat> and like everything about being vegan is just so good. And like I said, like yeah. yeah, I've had my slip ups. There's been incidences, but you know, it's so important not to focus on that and focus on the journey ahead. And you learn more as you go. So mm -hmm. like I'm still learning about different things. You just become more aware. I think mm -hmm. that's the point. Is to like try to learn as much as possible about yeah. what's going on and like. Obviously, we can't pay attention to every single issue out there, but like yeah. it just gives you a little bit more of a different perspective. Yeah. And I think another key po important thing is just to have like friends and family that are really supportive. And like, like Rose, she helped me out. <laughs> Um, it Did just, I pressure you? <laughs> no, I, no, I didn't feel pressured. Like, and okay, even, that's good. Even if you remember when I became vegetarian, yeah. I just like, I think I texted you or something. You didn't even tell me for like a month. I know, the, I think the reason was because I was like, just oh, seeing, maybe, yeah, 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 seeing yeah. how it went, because I didn't want to like, Disappoint do it, me. yeah, do it for like a week and then just be like, you know, but yeah, actually I felt really strongly about it, so I just kept it up. And then I messaged you. And then you told me like months later. Yeah, and you were just like, what? I'm not a fussy eater at all, so yeah. I just eat everything and anything. So yeah. it was, yeah. Me too. Yeah. Me and you are very similar in that yeah. aspect. That also makes it easier to be vegan though because we like all kinds of food. That's the thing. It's like I, I'll eat everything. Yeah. It makes it easy when we mm -hmm. like have pretty strong taste buds. Exactly. So, so we just eat everything. Maybe we're just a little bit like ignorant on the fact that there are people out there that don't like mm -hmm. everything. And so would, I could see then it would be a little bit, more, be difficult. A little bit more difficult. But yeah. I'm sure you could find something that you like. Yeah. And the thing with the thing about vegan stuff is there's so many more options out there. So yeah. like. They're getting better and better and better. Exactly. Better. And even with cooking, you can make so many different alternatives for stuff. All, all vegan. Yeah. And yeah. All right. Go I vegan. <laughs> Go vegan, guys. Go yeah. vegan. Let me know if you want him to start a YouTube channel. I keep telling him to start a YouTube channel, but I don't know if he will. Yeah. But anyways, why? Because I'm not, not interesting. <laughs> Do you think he's interesting? Leave a comment uh, down below if you would watch his YouTube channel, if you had a YouTube channel. <laughs> and everyone kept commenting on how, how pretty you are. Oh, thank how you. How pretty you are. Thanks, guys. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> and now I'm turning red again. I'm like, okay, I'm anyways, so I'm gonna stop embarrassing Daniel. Yeah. And we need to go to dinner soon. Yeah. And I think I need to film another video. We do. So much work. All right. Let me know down below what you think mm -hmm. of this video. And also, I wanted to thank all of you guys for all the support and everything. Like, I, I really do appreciate it. I hope this answered some questions for you. I know I get a lot of questions about weight and like stuff like that when it comes to going vegan. I felt that his perspective might be a little bit more relevant. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure you give it a thumbs up if you did, and make sure you like. Um, did I just say that? Yeah, yeah make, sure you <laughs> make sure you subscribe, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye, Bye. guys.